Well, the uh, I, th I think perhaps the most important question for fiscal policy modeling to address is how governments uh, facing various fiscal challenges can satisfy their uh, long-term budget requirements uh, and still uh, uh, make government a productive part of the economy. Um, there are big demographic changes, especially in Europe, uh, that are uh, requiring major changes in fiscal policy, uh, in both on, in terms of uh, taxes and government spending. And I think the important fiscal policy questions uh, all relate to how governments uh, can restructure their uh, fiscal policies uh, in order to uh, uh, pro uh, benefit the populations and provide good economic performance. Policymakers are always interested to know not just what the overall effects on the economy are, but also how different groups in the population are affected. And one of the things that micro simulation modeling focuses on is the distributional consequences. There's been a lot of concern uh, around the world in increasing inequality, uh, and this certainly affects people in Europe. And so uh, adopting policies that have uh, beneficial effects on the distribution of well-being is a particular objective that governments have right now. And so simply telling a government that a policy may increase economic growth uh, doesn't provide enough information. They need to know how different groups in the population are going to be affected. And this is what micro-simulation modeling is really designed to do. Well, imagine if uh, some politician in your country wanted to change the tax code. And then you, just as a citizen, wants to think about how you should judge the change. Is it something that would be good for you or bad for you? Then something you might do is just take your tax return and then make the changes that the politician uh, has suggested and then see how it changes the taxes that you pay. With a micro simulation model, what we do is we have data on millions of actual taxpayers and we can go through that exercise for everybody in the sample. And so you can do four million tax returns and then see how everybody's result changes given a specific proposal. And so it gives you a very, very accurate perspective on how the proposal will influence real people. Macro models are very useful, but they cannot answer the crucial question of how fiscal policy affects the income distribution. This is something that only micro simulation can do. Uh, so it can only uh, micro simulation that it can answer the question of who loses, who gains from fiscal policy by how much. This is a, the, the extra contribution of micro simulation over fiscal models, macro type models. What micro simulation model for fiscal policy analysis is something relatively new. Why? Because fiscal uh, policy analysts and policy makers are used to those macro models where you make inferences from what happened to the overall economy if the government changes fiscal policy overall. The advantage of micro simulation model is that you can use uh, 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 existing macroeconomic scenarios to draw inferences about the impact of policy changes on the income distribution. And this is a very crucial aspect of, in particular, fiscal policy in the aftermath of the crisis.